Boom, that's a game changer. Just rigged up a little uh, tripod of sorts in the Jeep from the handle. What's happening? Beaver Fleming here. So I'm on the way, just got done at the Bulletproof Labs and it was incredible. I mean, seriously, just learning about biohacking, technology, nutrition, all the incredible stuff that they have there is just an absolute game changer in optimal performance. Trying to figure out how to live the most healthy way you can by being active, treating yourself well, making sure you're conscious of what you're filling your tank with. Heading over to Body Lab. And I'm just so grateful for the incredible teams that are around me that are really looking after me. And I think the connection is the biggest part of it, you know. It's just being connected with these people that actually care about you and want to see you succeed, you know. I think it's so important to be able to connect with these people and really add value to them as well, you know. What can I bring at this time, you know. I'm not able to 100% help them in certain ways, but I'm able to bring something that you know I think a lot of people are always asking like how are you so happy or so pumped all the time and I think I'm able to bring that atmosphere to people and just really kind of maybe they're going through something and they're able to see how much I'm excited about learning and growing through this situation rather than this thing happening to me um, heard this incredible quote that it was like why wouldn't this happen to you you know why wouldn't I tear my ACL so I can see what I'm able to go through and uh, that just kind of reshifts everything that's in your mind from that victim mentality of well shoot this happened to me I tore my ACL what the heck what am I gonna do it into man this is an awesome opportunity to learn and grow and uh, see the life in a whole new way and so I'm just very grateful for that and that I'm able to continue to press on and just really learn and grow from it I think that's my favorite thing right now and I just I don't know if you can learn enough there's so much out there in this world to, if you think you know it all you've already shot yourself in the foot and that leads me into my next point of what I wanted to talk about and this is something really crucial because everyone talks about ego but I think there's two types of ego that are very dangerous um, you hear it all the time like people are like oh man that guy's got such an ego on him like he just thinks he's a cat's meow he thinks he's a uh, cooler nice right but there is that ego and we're all equal as people you know no matter what you are or what you do we're all humans that are equal it's just our decisions that make us different so what is it you choose but at the end of the day we're all the same and so I have love and grace for every single person I come in contact with and want to give you the same attention no matter if you were the most prestigious king or queen of whatever land or if you were someone that needed help you know so that's just one of the cool things and a practical way I do that is I carry granola bars in here shout out to Garden of Life thank you for that um, but I always keep a stash of granola bars in my glove box and if I see people on the road you know I want to I want to give back and help them out um, and just be there for people and help in any way I can you know I think that's one of the coolest things about life is uh just trying to be in service to each other you know we all get like feel entitlement or entitlement and that's part of the ego thing is we feel entitled to certain things and if you're not careful the second that you start to do that and something doesn't go right you just feel super weird at the end of it and you're just kind of like humiliated with yourself because you thought you were entitled to something and I've been on that end but then there's the other end of ego that I don't think it's talked about too much and that's the side that says Oh, I can't do that I couldn't do that what the heck and that's a part of an ego that is holding you back because you're you're worried about your perception from other people not what you perceive to be in yourself so it's like for instance I'm filming this video other people that might have a great idea or might have some wisdom to share or some knowledge to share or something to share don't ever let that information get released because they're holding themselves back by the other side of ego that is telling them no one's gonna care about it if it influences one person, which I'm sure it'll influence even way more than one person if you put it out there. I mean, shoot, with people on social media that have even 200 followers, if 10 people see that and one gets impacted, boom, job done. But for the most part, way more people are going to be impacted than you even realize. And by you helping that, you never know the fruit of it. And that's the beautiful thing about these platforms is we're really able to just share information, share stories, share uh, things that we've gone through, share wisdom and knowledge and just different perceptions of life and able to see growth that way and not that I mean I know for a fact I don't have all the answers and I don't pretend to you know I like to learn from everyone that I'm following so I'm conscious of who I'm following stuff that's really helping me 
get through different things or learn different things and just be in service to others through that so that's what I want to do with everything that I'm creating I just want to be able to put this information out there so that in some way it can benefit you and it's not always gonna be an epic skate clip like hey look at this if you work hard at skating you'll be able to achieve this no I want to be able to do that in everything I mean I really feel like for me it's so much bigger than just skating it's so much bigger than just videos it's so much bigger than anything it's about being present in the moment and where you're at and who you're with and just being there and just seeking to add value to whatever it is that you're doing. Always control how you show up. Even if you show up late, you can control how you show up. Bring something to the table instead of just victimizing yourself and being like, oh, well, no one will care. You don't know that. That could literally change. You could have something inside of you that could change someone's entire trajectory of where their life's going. And you never know if you don't put it out there. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you have something that you you feel like you don't know how others will receive it, but it's something that you really feel like you might want to do at some point, shut out that voice in your head that is your another ego. It's not the uh, prideful ego. It's the, uh, I wonder what we can call it, maybe... Uh, the perception ego, the limited perception ego, that's what I'm going to call it, the limited perception ego, and break that thing out, the, and the best way to do that is by putting something out there that's just absolutely and totally crazy, you know, so for me it was when I started the motivational videos, and now it's rooted into all this different stuff that most of my posts now are more based around trying to add value and motivation to people and inspire people to look beyond what they just see with their physical eyes and actually go after a big dream or vision or goal or just something that they're passionate about. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that right now and just hopefully this inspires something in you to get, a, get out of yourself. That's the biggest thing is getting out of our own way. Because our own way, nine times out of ten, I feel like we hold ourselves back by the things we're thinking about that aren't bringing value to ourselves, the things we're being filled with that are kind of taken away from what we're really here to accomplish. I think there's such a big destiny that's there for everybody, but a lot of times we limit ourselves and we get in our own way so much that it just holds us back and that we're not able to excel in what we're truly passionate about. But I think if you can break away from that, let go of the distractions and the discouragement, you're able to just see life as an opportunity and a learning experience and learn from everyone that you encounter, learn from every single person that you are connected with you know even if it's like you guys disagree on something there's always something you can take away to learn don't get so stuck in your own way or perception that you lose your openness a lot of times with athletes people or anyone like when they're going through a struggle they'll just kind of clam up so with me on this one it was easy and all of the things wanted me to just be like oh don't even acknowledge the fact that you're hurt don't even put it out there but no I think the best thing I can do is put it out there because one it helps show you guys that hey you know, things happen. Life is not perfect. We go through these struggles. We go through these battles. There's so many different things that are there for us. But let's stop looking at it with the lens of that. And let's start looking at it with the lens of an opportunity and a learning experience. And a, just an area that you can grow something within yourself that you may not have even thought would be happening. You know, I never thought I would tear my ACL. But shoot, am I able to get through it? There's only one way to find out. So let's go after it with the mindset of we're totally going to get through this better than we went into it. And I've already learned so much. And not only that, also just putting it out there, just seeing that it encourages certain people that are going through struggles like, hey man, just seeing your positivity and your work ethic and how you're going about this is really inspiring and encouraging. That's the biggest thing out there. I think we're able to be either our own worst enemy or our own best friend and that we can help other people and just be a good friend and good person to other people and just encourage other people through what we're doing you know too often people do not want to be seen as vulnerable or going through a struggle we want to act like our shoulders are up shields up guarded we want to be so guarded that we're afraid to be open but i think openness is the biggest thing openness to be able to not have a limited mindset and perception and a the only things you believe but be open to what other people believe and what their thoughts are about anything in life not just being so close-minded I mean have your opinions have your thoughts have your beliefs but also be open to just learning and growing and not being stuck in your own way that's holding you back from growing into another way 
and also just being open about who it is that you are and what it is you're going through. Too often different people just really clam up and hold back and don't want it to be seen that they're going through a struggle completely like, oh, everything's great. We live in a world that's everything's not great, you know, and that's okay, but we can choose to find greatness within it and within ourselves. And I think that's the key is not looking for everything to be perfect, but looking to see where you can grow and see greatness within every single thing that is happening. Because at the end of the day, there truly is a blessing in every breath. And as I say all the time, every second you are alive, you should feel alive and recognize that. So anytime you start to get overwhelmed, just realize the miracle that's in every single breath and that'll just shift you into a different realm of thinking and finding the greatness even in a tough time. Learn through it, grow through it, and help those and don't clam yourself up. When you try and do it all on your own, we burn ourselves out and we get worn out and all the fear and doubt and all that stuff will creep into our heads. Those thoughts are always there, but if we can choose to just be vulnerable and open about it, we can talk through our things and our different situations that we're in with others that may have been through a similar situation or have wisdom on how to approach a situation and then we're able to find that breakthrough and find that growth rather than sitting on the sidelines questioning everything doubting ourselves and letting that depression and that fear take over so i just want to encourage you guys with that share what it is that's on your heart be open openness i think that's what i'm going to title this video is just openness be open to listening to different opinions different thoughts different everything be open to learning new stuff and uh, just be open with what it is that you've learned and what it is you're going through openness I think is such a big key and uh, I, I really feel like that's gonna transcend a lot of things that people are going through in this age where anxiety depression fear all this stuff is massive I think openness and vulnerability is gonna be just a really big way to erase that erase that trend if you will I don't know how many posts I've seen on depression and anxiety and people dealing with this stuff and I think the biggest way to grow through it, the thing I've seen that people that are going through it is their ability to be open and vulnerable that leads to their breakthrough. So I just encourage you guys with that, be open, be ready, and uh, just keep learning, keep growing, and don't, don't stop believing as the great journey prophetic band once said.